Hi, this is Newt with a minute of medicine for your mind. You know, as I sit here in my office, just finishing up a planning session that we had, um, what we're putting together was called a conceptual framework, which basically embodies the things that we want our teachers that we're training to be teachers uh, to have and to possess and, and, and to do once they become practitioners out in the field. So, so part of that conceptual framework is that we want our teachers to be reflective practitioners. That means at all times we want them to reflect upon, you know, their actions, their choices, um, the things they're doing as a teacher, how they're building that young person, what are they doing with their instructional practice, and, 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 and more than just like what they're doing, but how do they reflect it back to themselves so they can, they create this cycle of continuous improvement and always become better at their craft. And it dawned on me that, you know, that's not just something I should be focusing on to, to build new teachers, but it's something I should be focusing on to build myself. It's a life skill, something we should have built in. We should always be trying to be better at who we are and what we are and be a pre reflective practitioner. So what am I challenging you to do? I'm challenging you to reflect on the things that you do, what you do and how that you do them. But more importantly, why you do them. Reflect on your motives and, and why it is that you're doing the choice, the things that you're doing and making the choices that you're, cho you're choosing. Because in that why and the motives that you have, therein lies your heart and your true system of values, which will dictate what your returns will look like. This is Newt with a minute of medicine for your mind.